Hi, welcome to another Dusty Day in the Shop. Today we're gonna build, yep, you guessed it, this giant Connect 4. First thing you're gonna to wanna to do is cut your quarter inch plywood to size and then mark your grid where all the holes are gonna go. Now that your grid is all drawn out, you're gonna to wanna to drill some pilot holes at each of the crosshairs. Probably a good idea to have the front and back be the same. So what you're gonna to want to do is clamp both quarter inch sheets of plywood together when drilling out these four inch holes. To create the slots that the discs will slide into, we are going to glue and nail these dowels into place, like so. This will also be how the two panels attach to each other. Next, we're gonna cut our legs to 36 inches, but if you want this game to be taller, you can make this any length you want. have our legs cut to the length that we want, we're going to drill the pocket holes that will attach it to the feet. Now that I got the legs attached, I went ahead and assembled the tray that will hold the discs when they're not in use. All I did was take a 1x6 and wrap it in some 1x3s. And what I'll do now is attach this right between like this. this guy to go at the bottom of the two panels to catch all the discs from falling. These heavy duty magnets are what's going to prevent this catch from swinging open. To cut out the discs, I'm using this 5 inch hole saw and I'm just cutting through this half inch sheet of MDF. To finish this project up, I used blue and white paint for the discs because the person that I made this for wanted Penn State colors and I used a brown stain for the rest of it. A full set of plans will be down in the description and if you like what you see, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. I'll see you next time.